Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Being the Odds. It is Monday, October 23rd, 2023, and we are back with our MLB Best Bets of the Day. If you're new to the channel, my name is Zach, and welcome to Being the Odds. Hit that subscribe button, like this video, hit notification bell so you never miss a pick. We post the MLB videos every single day, along with the NFL, college football, and NHL. We also have an NBA Futures video coming out a little bit later today since the NBA season starts tomorrow. I can't wait for that to get started. Um, also, we're also coming up big one years in the NBA and college basketball as well. Uh, we're going after our first 15,000 subscribers, our first eight months on YouTube. Really excited to have y'all here. Let's go win together today. Let's go make some money. So to recap yesterday's results, we had our we had our three day win streak snapped yesterday uh, with the Astros money line minus one twenty six. That was a loss, uh, tough loss overall. But you know, I mean, they had a chance to win in the bottom of the eighth, and they just couldn't. They couldn't get a hit. And that's is what it is. Can't that's that's baseball sometimes. But we're up twenty seven point three one units overall for the year, and we have two picks. I'm gonna give you all today. Let's get started with our first play of the day, which is gonna be the Phillies minus one point five, a plus one twelve versus the Diamondbacks. Um, I just think that this game, I think the series is over. I, they're, they're back in the bank, um, and people in Philadelphia will take off work to be there. It will be a packed house without a doubt. Nola's better than Merrill Kelly in the playoffs, and when they're at the bank, Nola's way better than Kelly because Kelly got rattled last time out in, in Philadelphia. Uh, Philly's lineup is way better in Philadelphia than it is on the road. I mean, that's that's pretty obvious. And that's pretty much the case for every team, other than the Astros, obviously. Um, but, like, Philly's lineup is absolutely unbelievable. They've got all the power in the world. The Diamondbacks put up a nice fight. They stole two at home, and it's really crazy I'm saying stole, but they really just stole two at home. Um, they're done, though. It won't be close. I like Philly here, minus 1.5 and plus 112. Get some plus money in there, so I like to see it. And then lastly, we're going to take the Astros money line, minus 126 versus the Rangers. Now, this is a contrarian pick because the Rangers, the, the road team has won every single game. And this is very, very similar to when the Nationals played the Astros in 2019. And they, 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 they whoever was the road team won, the Nationals won all, all four road games. Um, that's my one World Series in my life. But here's the thing. The Astros got punched in the mouth yesterday. They, they really did. And you could say that the, the Rangers snatched their soul. But really, here's the thing. I would rather lose 9-2. to two then lose five to four in a last second home run personally because you could just because what you can do is mentally is be like all right an inning got away from us it happens not in the world let's regroup tomorrow and that's why they have the astros are going to go and they're going to get off the mat they have a lot of experience in these situations and javi and i, I can't believe i'm about to say this but christian javier is better than max scherzer in the playoffs i max scherzer the last two years has been horrible in the playoffs so he's on the nationals dude was unbelievable he is not that same guy now. And this is only a second start in like seven weeks. I mean, and we saw how long it took Yavaldi to get back to what he is now. So, I, I mean, I, I like Javier here in the spot. He's played great against the Rangers. He played great against the Twins. Uh, the Astros lineup is still fantastic. If they do decide to put Yanni or Diaz in as, as the catcher, I mean, one through nine, there's not a hole in the damn lineup. And with the Rangers, at least they have Leody Tavares as, the, as kind of a break in the lineup. And the Astros lineup is still great. I still trust the Astros bullpen more than the Rangers if they can chase Scherzer a little bit. And Scherzer in the last two years in the playoffs has shown you can chase him a little bit. The Astros, like, I, I, I trust the Astros bullpen a lot more. The Rangers bullpen is one of the worst in the league. And they almost gave it up. And listen, Sabors and uh, LeClerc yesterday, they almost gave it away. I mean, they, they had runners on. They just couldn't convert. So, I mean, there, there's opportunities here. I, I'm optimistic about the Astros to win this game. Again, I think the whole world's going to be on the Rangers is because all the pressure, quote-unquote, would be on the Astros. But the Astros have been here before. They won the World Series last year. They have cachet with their fans, and they have the experience. So, to me, the Astros are the right play here, so I'm going to roll with them here. Now, we might be adding a pick or two throughout the day, maybe a total. I like one total in this game. Um, I'll be posting it on Twitter. Everybody else, check my, you, you, you post it on Twitter. You check my Twitter. My Twitter is linked in the description below. Members of the sex to you. And by the way, we do have a members-only best bet in the NFL tonight. You get that at zdmbets.com slash picks. Website is linked in the comments below. But a quick recap what we have. We have Phillies minus 1.5 at plus, 120, plus 112. And we have the Astros money line at minus 126. So let's go lock in those picks. Let's go win together today. Let's go make some money. I'll see you all tomorrow. Make sure you all check out our videos.